when we are babies, we appropriate objects, we consume them, we digest them, we assimilate them and we merge and fuse with them. We move them across the self-not-self -self boundary. They become self. The primary primordial ego cannot tell the difference between self and object. So it devours, it's ruthless, it's, it's you know, cruel and sadistic. The narcissist confuses external objects with internal objects. So all his emotional energy goes inwards because external objects are frustrating and painful. And because there is no difference in the narcissist's mind between external and internal, he ends up investing all his emotional energy in internal objects. Healthy people, they're like stars or like planets. The narcissist is all over the place. There's a mass, supermassive black hole in the middle. And there are spirals and spirals of introjects circling this black hole never integrated, most of them not interacting with each other. The narcissist identifies with your representation in his mind. You could do whatever you want. It doesn't matter. He never interacts with you. He interacts with your image in his mind and it's usually idealized or devalued, never realistic. When you as the intimate partner behave in ways which contradict the introject, the narcissist goes haywire. He loses it. You're challenging the object, you're challenging the narcissist's libido, his force of life, you're pushing him to die, in effect. He has no ability to stabilize and integrate the introject. You become the enemy, you become an internal object known as the persecutory object.